How's it going, everyone? Today we're doing the end of year q and I've only done one before, which was last year, at the end of last year, but maybe I'll turn this into a thing each year. Who knows? I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who submitted your questions over on Instagram. I've got some absolute bangers on the list and I can't wait to get stuck into them. By the way, I have seen these questions before. I wrote them all down, so I've got them in front of me, but I haven't looked at them for a few days because I wanted it to be kind of natural or as natural as possible. So hopefully that still comes across. And also, I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year. I'm doing this in advance, this video. So I don't know if I'm gonna upload it after New Year or just before, but if it's before, have a great New Year. If it's after, I hope you had a good New Year and hopefully 2022 brings you some amazing things. So question number one, what's the one sneaker you'd never get bored of wearing? That's easy for me. It's the Converse Chuck Taylor 70 in the black colorway, I'd say. When did you realize that you enjoyed fashion? Um, I'm probably gonna say around the age of eight or nine. I think that's when I got into skateboarding. And when I first started skateboarding, I got heavily into all the fashion around it as well. Um, yeah, I, re I was really into like Blind and Toy Machine, uh, Zero and all those kinds of brands. Circa was another one. I was obsessed with Circa shoes. I had to have a pair of Circa shoes and I got some in the end. But yeah, I don't really wear those brands these days, but that's when I think I first got into fashion. So I would have been about eight or nine. Favorite beer? Um, no, I'm really into my craft beers at the moment. So I'm one of those guys. Uh, I do look up the reviews of beers on Untapped uh, and I head down to the local shop and pick up two or three at the weekends to try, uh, try new ones every weekend. And at the moment, I'm really enjoying Verdant. I don't think I've had anything that bad by Verdant. I think the one I quite enjoy is I played that song on the trumpet or on the trombone or something. That's a nice one. But yeah, I can't really think off the top of my head, but it would have to be pretty much anything by Verdant. Are you single? No, I have a fiance who I live with and we're getting married next year. Who are your style inspirations? Now there's quite a few, but off the top of my head, uh, Alcarus, I'm gonna have to give a shout out to Donny das, Danny Dos Santos. Um, he was one of the first people that got me into Instagram and I just really liked his style. He's the owner of Droll de Monsure, the co-owner of Droll de Monsure. Uh, Paul Binham's another one I'm really enjoying on Instagram at the moment. Greg Entore, I really like his style. There's quite a lot. Um, I can't name them all and I can't think of them all right now, but uh, I'll link some more down in the description if I think of any. What is your favorite fashion item of all time? Um, I'd say a black pair of trousers. I love a black pair of trousers. And I recently just picked up a pair from Izzy Miyake and I'm in love with them. So at the moment, it's those. What YouTube channels about fashion do you follow? Now I must admit, I don't watch that much YouTube fashion content. Uh, I mainly watch like entrepreneurship videos, fitness videos, food videos. Yeah, those are like the main things I watch. But Magnus Running, I really like his channel. Um, Sanjeev, always enjoy Sanjeev's stuff as well. Uh, Greg Entore as well. Uh, he's got a great channel. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, there's probably a few more. And again, I'll link them down in the description if I think of them. What is the most important part of an outfit? I say the trousers. I think the trousers are the hardest things to get right. And once you get the trousers right, everything else kind of falls into place quite easily. So yeah, the trousers. Are you a full-time YouTuber? I can quite happily say that I am now a full-time YouTuber. And it is thanks to you that I can do this. I don't do any sponsorships on the channel, so it's all through you watching my videos, liking the videos, and buying stuff through the links in my description that helps the channel keep going. So thank you so much. I wouldn't be doing this without you. And yeah, I really appreciate it. I love this job and I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. So thank you very much. What alternative brands can I suggest in India as we don't have a lot of what you recommend? Um, I don't know what brands you've got over in India, but what I would recommend you do is if you like my style and what I wear, then I'm sure a lot of the stores over in India will have something similar. Uh, just buy the best quality you can in the shops that you've got available that look similar to the items that I show off on my channel and you should be good. Could you imagine doing vlog style videos? Now I have thought about doing this on the channel, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd be very good at it. I struggle talking to camera. I mess up quite a lot. Maybe vlogging would help me talk to camera better. 
Uh, a lot of you have mentioned in my videos that it sounds like I'm really scripted and like a robot. It's because I am. They are heavily scripted because otherwise I mess up too much. I also like to keep my private life private. I like to talk about clothing. That's my passion. So I don't know. At the moment, I just want to make more fashion content. Uh, but who knows, further down the line, maybe I will. What inspires you most in life and what is your drive? Very deep. People like Tim DeSaint and Daniel Simmons, their video quality is just next level. So yeah, if I can try and make my video quality look anything like theirs, then I'm going to be very happy. I'm not great with video still, I'm still learning. I'm better at photography than I am with video. But I think my videos are getting a little bit better, hopefully. But yeah, other creators, they really inspire me. Uh, and keep me going. Also, the other thing that drives me is I chose to leave my job to do this full time. So if I ever have a day where I don't feel that motivated, I just remind myself, you chose to do this, you have to do this, you're the only one that's gonna be able to do this and make something of yourself. So you just gotta get on and do it. But it does help when you enjoy what you're doing because it doesn't really feel like work. It's the weekend now and I'm meant to be chilling out on the sofa, but I'd rather make a video. So that says it all really. What is your sleeper sneaker of the year? The one that comes to mind is maybe the New Balance XC72. I thought that would be a lot more popular, so I'd say that is maybe my sleeper sneaker of the year. But other than that, I can't really think of any. Are there pieces that you like the look of on others and you've tried them on and you don't like them? Not as much these days. It used to happen a lot, but I kind of know what works for me nowadays and what doesn't. There's definitely stuff that I like the look of on others and I'd never try myself because I know they won't work for me. But I think once you know what works for you and what doesn't, you, uh, yeah, you can kind of like just think, he looks great in that. I'm not gonna look as good as that. Not gonna even bother trying. Any watch brands that don't break the bank? The first one that comes to mind and one that I've always liked, I don't wear watches these days, but when I did and when I was really into watches, then Seiko. Seiko are a great brand. They're really affordable and they look really nice too. So yeah. Have I ever picked up any clothes from the women's section? Yes, when I was 16, I used to do this all the time as well. I used to be a bit of an emo and I used to wear really skinny jeans, but the jeans weren't tight enough from the men's section. So I always bought my jeans from the women's section. So I've been doing this for ages. What is life like as an influencer? Now, I wouldn't say I'm an influencer. I'd say I'm a content creator. Yeah, I love it. I can't complain. I get to talk about fashion all day. I get to look up stuff about fashion all day. So it's not bad, really. The only downsides I'd say is that I work alone, so I don't really have help off anyone else, so it can get very stressful. Also, if I want to take any time off, then I have to pre-make all of my content so I can take time off. So it's not like a regular job where you just book some time off and someone will cover you. You have to kind of, unless you want to be inconsistent, but I don't like missing upload dates. I like to stay consistent. So yeah, work hard to play hard. But yeah, I can't complain. I absolutely love it. I would not be doing it if I didn't love it. You need to love this job to do it because you won't keep up with it if you don't love it. If you could steal a celebrity's look, who would it be? I've always enjoyed Hector Bellerin. I like what ASAP Rocky wears. Uh, Tyler the Creator because he wears a lot of cardigans. He looks cozy. Um, can't think of any others right now. How can you afford so many nice pieces? I save up for them. I don't buy stuff I don't need or don't really want. So when I do buy a piece, it's got to be important to me. It's got to mean something to me and it's got to get me excited. But if it's a case of I can buy a pair of trousers that I kind of like, but not that excited by, or I could save up my money, wait a bit and put it towards a pair that maybe cost a bit more, but are very nice, get me very excited, then I'll hold off buying the, the more affordable pair and just wait until I can afford the nicer pair. And if I have to sell some old clothing to get them, then I will. How to look good in freezing weather if you don't wanna wear puffer jackets all the time. Layer up, wear thermals and just layer. Get creative with your layers. I've got a few videos on the channel about layering. Watch those and yeah, you should be good. How would you like to see your own style develop and grow in 2022? I think I really want to hone in on the phrase, buy less, buy well. I want to get some more investment pieces, things that I get really excited by. Um, yeah, so my aim is to get my wardrobe full of items that really make me really happy. I think at the moment I've got a few pieces that I'm really proud of, but I want my whole wardrobe to be something that I'm really, really proud of. So basically, buy less, buy better, 
And I want to get as excited as I get with my Izzy Miyake trousers when I put those on. I want every piece of my wardrobe to get me as excited as I get when I wear those. So I don't really know if that's my style developing, more my wardrobe developing and getting better quality pieces. Other than fashion, what are your interests? So I like music. Music is my number one passion with fashion. <laughs> uh, I studied music at university. I thought I was going to be a musician. So yeah, that's a huge part of my life. Also, I like working out, keeping fit and food. So I'd say, yeah, those three things and fashion are my top three. Is that three things? Yeah. Music, working out, food, fashion. Those are my four things that I like the best. What's my best, most versatile pickup? Probably the Izzy Miyake trousers. I think you can wear them to anything. Do you agree with genderless fashion? Yes, absolutely. Wear what you want. What music do you listen to while you're making your videos? I think a lot of people think that the music I put in my videos is the music I like listening to. And I'm sorry if you like it, but it's not the music I like listening to. It's the music that I feel suits my videos best. Because if I put the music that I listen to in my videos, it just wouldn't fit at all. The music I like is quite depressing. It sounds really sad, so it wouldn't really suit the tone of my videos. But mainly a lot of electronic music and a lot of ambient music. What's the most you've ever spent on a piece and was it worth it? It's probably my Izzy Miyake trousers. I think they were about £300, £305. That's crazy for a pair of trousers. Yes, they're worth it to me. They're a pair that I've been wanting for so long. I feel they're a trouser that are going to go with absolutely everything. I already wear them with everything. But do I think that everyone should be spending that kind of money on a pair of trousers? No, if you don't like them, don't spend that kind of money on them. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so we've got an ambient music fan here. Bazinski, Hecker or Finesse. That might not mean a lot to some of you, but these are three ambient artists and they're asking me to rank them or to say who my favourite is. It's quite simple for me, actually. I think I'm going to have to go for Bazinski number one. Uh, Finesse number two and Hecker number three. I love all three artists, but that's the order that I'd go for. <laughs> when shopping online, do you look for specific items or browse endlessly? Uh, it's a bit of both. Sometimes I go for specific items and end up shopping for ages. <laughs> or I just start browsing and a few hours later, I'm still looking and I haven't found anything. So it's a bit of both. I like to think that I go in with a plan, but sometimes you just get carried away. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much for the questions. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed answering those questions. I don't do Q and A's that often, so that was quite fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, yeah, have a great 2022 and I will see you in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Thank you so much for the support and see you next week. Thank you. See ya.